kissing bugs are blood-sucking insects that are known to attack humans for their food. These pests are sometimes called some names, the most common being cone nose bug, mast hunter bug or Mexican bed bug. A major reason these insects are called kissing bugs is because they tend to bite around the mouth and eye region while you sleep which is definitely pretty creepy, literally. To make matters worse, these pests have the ability to transmit a dangerous disease called Chagas that can cause all sorts of health complications and can sometimes even be fatal. These insects are known to start craving blood as the sun starts to go down and are commonly found actively seeking their next meal during this time. While they are not out looking for dinner, kissing bugs can hide themselves in places that are either sheltered or near their primary source of food, like under rocks, bricks, broken tiles, cement blocks, piles of leaves and other garden refuse. Inside houses, especially under mattresses, garden sheds, usually inside cracks, holes, etc., and other occupied structures. Inside dog kennels, chicken pens, rodent nests and other animal living areas. Kissing bugs and the Chagas disease infections often go hand in hand and this is a fairly serious concern. However, remember that it is not the saliva or the blood that contains the disease, unlike malaria. The disease is actually contained within their feces and you will only catch it if the excrement that has the disease is placed near an open wound, such as a recent cut or graze is dropped in your eye, can also be rubbed in with your fingers, or if you swallow it. Some of the symptoms of Chagas disease include, but are not limited to, diarrhea, does depend on the person, adverse skin reactions such as rashes, hives, itching, swelling of glands, etc., nausea, fainting and shortness of breath, not usually immediate but will manifest after some time has passed, inflammation of the heart and kidneys, this would be confirmed by a certified medical expert. If you encounter any of these symptoms even if it is not from Chagas, please contact a medical practitioner immediately as this website is not a source of medical advice. If you think your symptoms may have been caused by this disease, be sure to mention this to the doctor. If you live in a high-risk area, it might be worth your while to get yourself checked out from time to time as not everyone who contracts the parasite gets sick immediately and it's best to catch it in its early stages. Research shows that it may take years before it takes taking a toll on your health and it is estimated that over 12,000 people die from it each year alone. If you have suffered from a kissing bug bite, and you have confirmed that it's not from another insect, such as a bed bug bite rash, there are a couple of things that you can do to reduce the pain and inflammation and reduce a chance of infection before seeking medical attention. Here are a few pointers that the Bug Squad recommends. Place ice or any cold pack on the affected region to reduce swelling. Use an antibacterial soap and wash the bite area with warm water. Reduce itchiness by using calamine cream or sometimes similar. It is very important to resist the urge to scratch as this can leave scarring and actually increase the chances of a bacterial or disease infection. Proactive ways to keep them out, as usual, it's always a good idea to take preventative action, if possible, when dealing with kissing bugs. Seal up any holes, cracks or openings that may allow insects to get into your home, even when the windows and doors are closed. If there is a large amount of insect activity in your area, it might be useful to buy an insect screen net for your windows as this will allow the pleasant breeze to come in but will also keep the nasty pests out. Keep on the lookout for their presence, feces, small blood stains, etc., especially in your living areas. To protect your pets, keep them inside as they can also be infected by the Chagas disease if they eat one of these insects. Keep your yard free of their hiding areas. As previously mentioned, piles of leaves, garden refuse, etc. are prime targets so clear them away.
If you are traveling or live in a region that has a high risk, you can also use things like bed nets to protect yourself from pests that may find your sleeping body interesting while you are sleeping. Richard Fagerland, a well-respected pest expert has recently suggested that getting rid of pack rats and their nests is another good way to reduce the chances of these insects invading your home.